The gentleman yields back. The gentlelady from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I've already spoken to the absurdity of this debate, but let me conclude by clarifying what this bill does and does not do by reading the relevant two, the two paragraphs of this bill. It's one page long. Section 901 of the Education Amendments of 1972 is amended by adding at the end of the fo following, it shall be a violation of subsection A for a recipient of federal financial assistance who operates, sponsors, or facilitates athletic programs or activities to permit a person whose sex is male to participate in an athletic program or activities designed for women or girls. For the purposes of this subsection, Sex shall be recognized based solely on a person's reproductive biology and genetics at birth. All of these ridiculous things that we've been accused of are not in this bill. This bill does not discriminate against anyone. It does not exhibit any hate toward anyone. What it does is prohibit federal funding to institutions that, and I quote, permit a person whose sex is male to participate in an athletic program or activity that's designated for women or girls. The reason for this is simple. Men have certain physiological advantages over women, such as more size and speed. And because of that, allowing biological males to compete against women and girls robs females of equal athletic opportunities and fair playing fields. H.R. 734 restores the integrity and fairness of women's sports. Mr. Chairman, Republicans, contrary to what our colleagues have said and accused us of, Republicans love all God's children, male and female, born and unborn. Do not question our commitment to fairness, to life, or to treating people equally. We hate no one. As my colleagues have pointed out, it is ridiculous that we've had to stand here today to defend the rights of women and girls to participate in sports against other women and girls and they not being taken advantage of by biological males. I encourage my colleagues across the aisle to do what is best for America's women and girls and support this important bill I yield back.